As you head out this morning, no major problems to report. Let's take a live look to our DOT cameras. This is I-4 just east of Champions. Traffic is building right now on I-4 in Seminole County. I'm Michelle Wargo. I'll have your travel times coming up. 20 Michelle Wargo is here and is tracking things out on the roads. That's right. Right now we have a crash on I-4. That's right. I-95 southbound is shut down in MIMS. I'm Michelle Wargo and I'll have your alternates and what you can expect on the area surface streets coming yeah. up. Still closed between County Road 5A and State Road 46 traffic. Southbound still being forced off at Stuckway Road, which is exit 231, and the main alternate is US 1. But as you mentioned, we are seeing some heavy delays along US 1 because that's the main artery besides I 95 if you're heading southbound. So this is the scene right now, and as you mentioned, and as Marina mentioned, we're waiting on a tow truck to clear out the scene, but for now, you still have to exit at Stuckway Road this morning. As you can see, all southbound traffic being forced off. US 1 is your main alternate. Now, if you're heading out on I Four this morning, we are starting to see some slowdowns here in Seminole County. This is I four at four thirty six. Your current travel times right now about nineteen minutes. Margo, thanks, Amy. We're dealing with breaking news along I four eastbound right now at Ivanhoe Boulevard. The on ramp and off ramp those are both closed. You'll want to use Colonial Drive or Princeton Street as your ramps onto I four eastbound or off of I four eastbound. So here we go. This is I four at Ivanhoe. This is the exit ramp from I four eastbound onto Ivanhoe. This is the ramp from Ivanhoe onto I four eastbound. Found. As you can see, those are still blocked. We do have police activity still out there blocking the roadway. So again, Colonial Drive or Princeton are going to be your entrance and exit ramps this morning. Dealing with some heavy delays because of this crash scene. This is I-4 at the 408. We also have reports of a crash on the 408 westbound ramp to I-4 that is blocking a lane of traffic through there. But our delays begin at John Young Parkway and don't clear up until after Ivanhoe. So you're looking at about a 20 minute ride on the eastbound side. And as you head out westbound through Seminole County, not too bad right now in Lake Mary. Things here moving smoothly, but you are stop and go between 434 and Lee Road through there. Give yourself about 16 minutes of travel time. Thanks, Amy. We do have big problems this morning at the intersection of Orange Avenue and Sand Lake Road. A deputy involved crash here blocks the middle of the intersection. As you can see, a tow truck has just arrived on the scene, but these are the southbound lanes of Orange Avenue at Sand Lake Road. As you can see right now, we do have two northbound lanes back open at the intersection, but if you're heading out right now, police are directing traffic and making you go around the intersection. So avoid the area. Just use Orange Blossom Trail instead as your alternate for Orange Avenue. Here's a live look to I-4 at the Lake Mary Tower camera. Starting to see those slowdowns on I-4 westbound. You are... Stop and go in pockets this morning westbound between Lake Mary Boulevard and 436. Here's a live look to I-4 at 434 westbound heading into downtown. And then you slow down again on I-4 westbound here at 436. That finally clears up around Lee Road. Jason, and we're still dealing with those visibility issues along I-95. And it's the thickest between County Road 5A and the Beach Line this morning. So as you hit the roadways, this is what it looks like right now. This is I-95 at the Beach Line. As you can see, traffic is getting by smoothly but we do have those foggy conditions in the area. Same thing goes here in Sanford. This is I-4 at County Road 46A. As you can see, some foggy conditions, westbound traffic on the build. This the major roadways, Jason. As you get ready to head out, though, we do have that ongoing construction work on the beach line to be aware of. You'll find that the ramps from the Conway westbound on-ramp and the Boggy Creek eastbound on-ramp, those are both closed. So your alternates are the Boggy Creek westbound on-ramp or the Tradeport eastbound on-ramp this morning. As you can see, though, green dots mean that everything is flowing smoothly. We do have some yellow dots in that construction zone. And as I bring up the e-pass camera in the area, you can see that we do have some ongoing construction and we do have some lanes blocked. But as you can see, light volume this morning, so no real delays to report.